Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, comments in uh, Groovy. So we have been uh, learning Groovy and if you have been watching uh, my videos, uh, I'm sure by now you must have realized that uh, I don't really uh, want to talk about uh, uh, the uh, things that will uh, not let you practice. I want to. I want to make sure that you. Uh, I want to make sure that you practice a lot, and I want to make sure you get your hands uh, dirty. So, if you are following my videos, uh, and if you are serious about uh, learning Groovy, or in fact any other programming language, as I mentioned before, as I have been telling you that you should practice. You should write code as much as you can. And uh, since we are talking about writing. Uh, code you may encounter and you will definitely encounter situations where you will uh, write some comments you will have to write some comments uh, uh, in your code and the purpose of comment uh, or uh, the purpose of these comments that you will be using that you might be using is to basically explain something about uh, what that particular piece of code is doing and comments Treat comments as the statements that will not be processed by your compiler. So when the program is run, these comments uh, will be ignored. So in Groovy, it is important to know uh, different different types of comments that you can uh, create. So the first uh, and the most popular type of comment is called a single line comment. So anywhere in your uh, in your code. Let us say you have a statement where you are trying to print something. If you use these uh, um, slash, uh, forward slash, double forward slash, and uh, you write any comment, so this line will be ignored by um, the compiler. You can also do the same thing uh, in between, uh, like on the same line. So if you look at this particular line, this is this this is something that will be. Uh, processed, compiled and it will be executed. But this particular part, which is of course on the same line, um, will be ignored. So this is not, not nothing but a comment and uh, you can use this single line comment to explain something briefly about uh, what this line is doing, what this particular piece of uh, code or this block of code will be uh, will be doing. Uh, but of, of course, you can't really use single line comments all the time. Sometimes you need um, multiple lines. And that is why you have uh, this multi-line comment where you can uh, span your comment across uh, multiple lines. So you can start your comment uh, like like this in the beginning, but it can go on maybe to second or third or maybe fourth line. So it is different from a single line comment the way you define them. You need to use this uh, forward slash asterisk. Uh, to start the comment and then uh, uh, asterisk again and then of course uh, forward slash. So anything in between will be ignored. It won't be processed by, it, it won't be executed. Com your Groovy compiler will treat uh, anything in between as uh, a comment. So you can uh, use that and of course you can't really use this type of comment, multi line comment uh, uh, within your uh, statements. I mean, you can, but uh, uh, I mean, if you write the same thing here, let us say, uh, if you write this multi-line multi -line comment after the statement, it will be a comment, but uh, um, you can then continue further on the same line with maybe one more print statement. So this can be useful in a lot of situations where, especially when you have uh, a bit more to describe about your comment and talking about describing about uh, you, you know what your code is doing or what your code can do you can take a look at groovy talk style comment so it works the concept is similar to of course multi-line comment you start your comment with uh, this forward slash asterisk and you end it with asterisk and forward slash but in the beginning when you're starting your comment just use two asterisks um, and uh, the standard way to define this uh, groovy doc style comment or java doc style comment is uh, like this. So basically you will use uh, the 
groovy doc comment um, when you are defining a class and this is really useful when you are using um, uh, or when you are creating a document out of your comments so we'll probably discuss it of course uh, maybe in detail uh, whenever we have uh, whenever we reach that stage where we talk about classes but if you are uh, new to groovy and if you think in future you may be required to uh, also create a documentation out of your code automatically so that particular documentation will be used or will be picked up from the comments that you define in your code using groovy doc style uh, comment and the last comment or last type of comment that i want to talk about is called shebang line so basically shebang line is uh, quite popular because it looks like a comment but uh, basically whenever you have to execute your groovy code on a terminal maybe you want to execute it on uh, maybe uh, your command line especially on uh, unix based systems and this is something important because uh, if you are let us say using groovy to do some automation in jira you can of course do that you can, you can use any kind of comments that we discussed earlier uh, or you can use uh, groovy to do automation in jenkins but you can also do a lot more with groovy you can uh, use it uh, i mean you don't have to use it with uh, these tools you can use it on their own maybe you are using groovy to do some automation maybe on the server and if your groovy code is stored within uh, a file that you want to execute you can or you need to basically define uh, the, uh, the the environment from where groovy will be or, or basically this is something like a path where this particular file this particular code uh, i mean this particular code needs groovy environment to run and that is what you are trying to define here in this uh, line here where you need to start with the hash followed by exclamation mark and then you need to use the path where you have your uh, groovy environment and of course the rest of the code is nothing but your statements so let us see how it works and when you define this particular file you also need to make it executable and then you need to run it so it's something like you know executing your shell file and uh, uh, doing it is actually very simple so let me show you one of the file or the same file that i uh, created earlier it's called as shebang.groovy and if you look at this particular file it is nothing but uh, this statement it starts with this statement where uh, i i'm defining this uh, path followed by groovy and uh, this is something that sh that should that should be in your i mean um, you need to first check whether this is relevant for your environment or for your server or computer and then you need to uh, of course uh, once you have this line in your code the, f the very first line then you can uh, continue writing your code so in this particular uh, code i'm just printing out something and if i uh, try to run this before i can run this i need to uh, make this file executable so you can uh, do ch mode a plus x shebang.groovy and by the way if you're new to groovy and if you, if you think this is not really relevant don't worry about it too much but uh, since we are talking about comments i think it is good to know about all type of comments uh, although the purpose of this line is uh, more than a comment it is basically uh, letting you execute a groovy script from your terminal or uh, console so to run this you will just run it like uh, you know your shell script and uh, if you do this if you run this you will uh, get this uh, statement this is uh, testing this is uh, the um, shebang command so this is really useful in uh, cases where you want to execute uh, something uh, from terminal where maybe you are uh, not really worrying about the output maybe you are doing some automation maybe you are using this groovy script to uh, take a backup regularly or maybe execute uh, some service you can also do this uh, periodically using cron so there are different applications and there are cases when running a script from console makes uh, your life a lot more uh, easier and it makes sense so 
we'll continue learning Groovy. And uh, if you're watching this video, as I mentioned before, um, I want you to install Groovy on your computer. I talked about uh, how to set up Groovy, tools that you need uh, to uh, get started. So yeah, I made one video about uh, installing IntelliJ and uh, using IntelliJ, I think uh, you can immediately start using uh, um, scripting, writing scripts on uh, doing wonderful things with Groovy. So if you're watching this video, if you're watching my video series on mastering Groovy, please uh, practice. That is the only way to learn and uh, uh, try to solve problems. So in my previous video, I talked about uh, uh, implementing a popular game called Fizzbuzz, where I uh, I wrote I wrote some code, which I know is not great, which is probably not the best solution. But you have different ways to uh, to solve a problem. You have different ways to write code, and when you know uh, when you write a bad code, uh, you will realize yourself after some time, or maybe when you are asked to add more features or asked to do more with the same piece of code that you wrote maybe six months ago or maybe six years ago you will realize that uh, when you're writing a code, you should write it with the intention that, uh, first of all, it can be understood by others. Second, uh, it should be scalable. It should not be difficult for you to, even for you to maintain as a developer. And you should be able to add more features uh, to it without messing up the, the overall code. So learning programming and in any language, it is applicable to Groovy as well, is... Uh, it's not difficult. It is uh, definitely uh, uh, something that uh, requires a bit of continuous practice. And that is what I will be doing in my videos. I will give you exercises. I will give you these uh, small challenges that you can do very easily, but it will give you some food for thought so that uh, you can uh, you can also uh, think about uh, how I can do it differently. So we'll probably talk about uh, more things, more wonderful things that we can do with the uh, uh, groovy in uh, my future videos and uh, I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.